getting really close to the cars in front. But hopefully it knows what it's doing. Hi there and welcome to Techflower and welcome to my Tesla Model 3. I've shown you in another video how the Navigate on Autopilot works, which is part of the Enhanced Autopilot package. Today I'm going to show you another feature that is part of this package. It's called Auto Park. So what is Auto Park? When you're in a parking lot like I am, you're probably looking for a parking spot. And sometimes these parking lots are really crowded and the only empty parking spots are really difficult to park in. Then Auto Parks comes to the rescue. While you're driving on the parking lot, the car will scan for empty parking spots and suggest you one if it finds one that fits its needs. And it will show it on the screen as I will show you in a moment. I haven't had the best luck myself with the auto park to get it to work properly, but let's see how it behaves today. So let's back out of this parking spot that I'm in and let's find a little bit more difficult parking spot to park in. So this parking lot is not very crowded, but I see on the other side here that there might be a good parking spot for the car to identify. So you have to make sure that you are driving quite slowly by the parking spots. Otherwise the car won't scan for the parking spots. So let's see what happens. We have these three cars here. And we're going to drive slowly past these cars and see what the car suggests. Check the screen. Do we get a P sign up there? Nope, not yet. Sometimes takes a while. As I mentioned, it's not perfect. Hasn't suggested a parking spot yet. Oh, there I got the P sign. And now it just says that I should shift to reverse. So let's do that. No hands on the steering wheel and I simply click start and let the car do the rest. It's getting really close to the cars in front. But hopefully it knows what it's doing. And you see that it doesn't do it in one try, it has to go forward a little bit. Really close to the white car in front of me here. Oof, I wouldn't go that close myself. And see how it does here. And you see that it parks close, really close to the next car. And let's see how it does. And there you go. You can see here on the camera feed, if it allows me to show it, that it's in the center quite well and backing all the way into the parking spot. So it took two tries. It had to back in and then go forward a little bit and back again. I don't have the upgraded auto park that comes in the spring update that I actually have. I have the spring update, but not the upgraded auto park. I'm hopeful that I will get that as well. So in that version, when you're driving on the parking lot, you will get a selection of parking spots you can choose. But in this version that I have, it will only pick one parking spot and I just press the P button and the car will automatically choose the parking spot for you. So let's try this again in another spot on this parking lot. Let's see what it does here. I'm driving slowly. And we see the P sign. Let's click it. And I should reverse. Let's see what the car does. Click start. And we're really close to the car to the right. But of course the car is using its sensor to avoid crashing into other cars. And you see it's using the turn signal to indicate so other cars around me know that I'm backing into this parking spot. Fortunately, there are no cars driving by at this moment. 
and you can see that the steering wheel is doing turning itself I'm not doing anything but watching the feed here all right it seems like on the screen that we had up here that it wasn't really straight in the parking spot let's see the video feed yeah it seems like it um, it parked a little bit better the first time around let's grab the camera and see how the car did so this is how it parked not the best parking job at all it's not straight in the parking spot I would have probably parked better myself but at least it parked the car but not straight into the parking spot so let's try it one more time uh, let's find a good spot to do it A spot here between these cars on the right let's see if it identifies this parking spot driving slowly and it did not let's drive a little further oh there we have, have the P sign came a little late should shift to the right to reverse and press start let's see what it does oh it did identify the parking spot but it came a little bit late in my opinion I had driven too far away and now the car turns way too late into the parking spot and has to drive forward yep I know I'm parking sorry and this is also it I rarely use this because it always takes a time to park and people have to wait for me to park and I'm usually quicker at parking myself so it finished parking always the two session parking first backing in doesn't go directly into the parking spot has to go forward and back again so let's see on the camera how well it did it's quite far from the car here to the right and closer to the car on the left according to the camera feed but let's see how it is if we look at it outside and this was actually a lot better it's much straighter in the parking spot good space between all the cars and as I said a little bit closer to this car here on, on the left And here at the back well into the parking spot but not too close to the next car so this was auto park which is part of the enhanced autopilot package and as you saw it's not perfect and I know in the upgraded version of the auto park it usually only takes one try to back into a parking spot so hopefully I will get that upgrade at some point and then I will record a new video and show you the difference and the improvements in the auto park. I hope you liked this video. At least I really liked making it. And if you like the content on my channel, please consider subscribing because it really helps my channel grow. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. See you in my next video.